things but with him i just blatantly put like dude you didn't even make me come and like that was just really fast <laughs> like i'm good and he was like no let me prove myself again and like yeah and to this day he still hits me up and that was like a few years ago he should at least like just made out with you a little bit longer and then, yeah, and then go number two you know like, it just oh my god it was so bad but i've definitely also been in those positions too where like I don't know. I feel like it happens mostly when you work with people. I don't know what it is, but like a workplace causes the most sexual tension between people ever. And I like majority of the people that I've hooked up with are majority of the people that like I've worked with or like have known in the workplace and stuff. And that is like the best and the worst because it's like <laughs> when you have like a shift with that person. Oh my God. You're like, oh, cool. How much fun can we have? Like, How much trouble can we like try not to get into and like all the shit? But it's also the worst because then you can get caught and then that's just really shitty. And <laughs> I thankfully haven't had sex with anybody that I've ever worked with. Oh, okay, yeah. well. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> especially because it's, it's been mostly men. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. <laughs> but it's definitely, it's funny because like I always say this, like, um... When it comes to men in the work, you know, I work with, I, I mean, I've worked with majority of men my whole life. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, like, it feels like a lot of them haven't gotten laid in a minute, especially during work. Like, oh, it yeah. feels like, oh, dude, look at that girl's titties. Or look at that girl's ass, dude. Like, ooh. <laughs> and then for me, it's like, oh, like, okay like, like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say like oh i'm not i didn't stare or something but i didn't make i didn't voice it yeah like i wasn't like Ooh, that girl's ass was just like mm. like these guys do these guys yeah. were like dude this girl that girl's ass is like super fine i'm like <laughs> okay all right cool <laughs> like it feels like prison like it's like 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 um yeah. like they drop a piece of meat inside a piranha tank and then oh, everyone's like, just like oh i gotta get it yeah <laughs> Oh my god, I've definitely... What sucks is like when you are someone that hooks up with your coworkers, specifically when you work with a bunch of dudes, you end up becoming one of the bros, and then you end up hearing all these comments anyway, and you're like, oh, cool. <laughs> like, this is what I hooked up with. <laughs> like, I definitely have heard like, like, oh, like somebody bragging and like saying like, shut up, you fucking tiny dick. Like, I've heard some... <laughs> like, I've literally heard somebody say that. I'm like... Whoa, what, what What the fuck happened here? Oh, that's too funny. Oh my god. There was this one guy that I worked with that oh, it was kind of an incident like that. He was just like an asshole in general, but he, um, we all ended up finding his Instagram. And his Instagram handle was Waits Before Dates. Wow. It's been changed since, <laughs> but it was Waits Before Dates. And after me and him hooked up, he was just being an asshole, so we changed his computer name to Waits Before Dates. And he was not happy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> he must have been like, ooh, I fucked the wrong girl. <laughs> yeah, definitely had my fair share of like, I mean, I guess it really depends on the person. Right? Honest. Like, like cause, I'll say this. I'll say this. I've, the women that I've dated, it's funny because so, I've had a long relationship for like three years. Mm -hmm. um, three, three plus on and off. On and off, like we're yeah. oh, we like each other. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't want to go hook up with somebody else. Like yeah. wait, like this yeah. guy didn't fuck me right. Like I had that. Co like I yeah. literally had that. Co no joke. Like yeah. two a.m. in the morning. Like hey, like um, I just want you to know that to be prepared for Saturday because <laughs> like no, but like. Um, I'm just not satisfied, and uh, like I need you to put it down. I was like, oh, it's <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> I definitely had. I definitely the most disgusting thing that I've ever done in my life was I've hooked up with a girl that um, that we used to fuck around. Mm -hmm. We used to just fuck around, and we used to go on coffee dates, just hang out, just mm -hmm. like, you know, shoot the it's shit, like, just yeah. like really. Um, just do her thing. Mm -hmm. So one day we were like on a coffee date and she was like, yeah, like I had sex with this guy the night before. And then this morning I went over to this other guy's house and was like <laughs> hooking up with this guy. And then we were like 
at the time I was in, I didn't have a car, so she mm. drove me home. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, do you want a cuff? <laughs> and I was like, well, I guess, like, I guess third time's a charm. Like, <laughs> like, like, let's do it. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it happen. And yeah. And then we kind of, when we've seen each other lately, we kind of talk about that. And then mm. she's like, oh my God. Like, there's a Spanish word called piruja, which is like a whore. Mm. Like, oh, it's not piruja, like a whore. So we like, we say that, like, it's like, oh my God. And she's like, oh my God, I was such a piruja. And, and I was like, yeah, but at the same time, I allowed it because I had the power to be like, no. So, but you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny because, so, like, with every other girl, I know I've been mm -hmm. dumped. Mm -hmm. because of my of my sexuality because I've been I have a super sexual drive especially when I'm dating somebody mm -hmm. so I'm more of a house body mm -hmm. and I want to stay home and like mm -hmm. watch movies mm -hmm. or just hang out cook yeah. but in between all the stuff like I definitely want to fuck yeah so I know one of the girls have told me like hey like mm -hmm. just so you know like I can't handle me and you being at home all the time. Mm. And I was like, why? <laughs> like, because all you want to fucking do is like eat, shit, sleep, and fuck, and shower in between. <laughs> and I was like, is that bad? <laughs> I don't know if that's bad. Like, I don't know. Like, I've never heard somebody complain about that. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and, and she's like, yeah, I guess I just can't. I just can't can't fuck all the fucking time and I was just like oh okay so what are we breaking up <laughs> she's like yeah we're breaking up I was like all right oh my god that's fine and then like a couple hours later like hey um do you want to hook up <laughs> I was like didn't you just duck me for, for for fucking too much and now you're telling me to hook up like like oh that's too funny <laughs> I had another funny story about about being dumped. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so it was my birthday. Uh, maybe it was like, I wouldn't say it was. Don't say you got dumped three. on your birthday. Almost three years ago. And I had, I had arranged for all my friends to come through and the girl that I was dating came through. And the girl that I was dating, I had already introduced to my friends because mm -hmm. we um, we went to a karaoke place mm -hmm. where you rent a room and okay. you just karaoke. Yeah. And we were like karaoke and stuff. And like one of my one of my friends is um she's a real like kind of like bullshitter detector, mm -hmm. like just kind of mm -hmm. like oh I don't know if you should date her yeah. blah blah. blah. Yeah. And it, it was whatever. Mm -hmm. So then she comes to my birthday all late she's like we're all hanging out we're all this this and that drinking whatever and ironically um one of my co-workers who um who at the time wasn't my co-worker but just a friend mm -hmm. like we kind of we never we always used to see each other but never like really bonded yeah so we bonded over somebody brought me like some popsicle cake or whatever so i was like hey do you want one dude He's like yeah like we're nice. just like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> bonded over fucking yeah. cake and we were just like hanging out and everything and I think it was like before he went to Thailand mm. it was like a week before Thailand he, he left for a minute and then came back yeah so um so yeah we bonded over that but then she was like over here like saying like hey um just to let you know like I don't know how this is this is gonna work out because like you've been like cold like you've been like this and and i was like well why like oh it's because you didn't kiss me when like we're at you like because like, at the time i used to work for a car wash mm -hmm. so she brought her car to get washed and everything and my boss was like super I, i've always worked for people that are like super cool with mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. like all right cool like you know yeah. or i'll be like hey dude, let me pay get this yeah. um so she brought her car she brought food like whatever blah blah, blah. And then she went in to lean in to kiss me, and I was like, "Hey, not right here, just yeah. for professional reasons." Like, yeah. <laughs> like you know, and she kind of got That's offended really by that, and it was like kind of like, "Oh, okay." So she's like, "Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work. Like, I don't think we should be dating. Like, I think like 
<laughs> you're gonna go do good things. I'm like, oh. I'm like, all right, like whatever. So I was like, I was super bummed out. I was like, damn. I was like, oh damn, like they just get dumped on, on your my birthday. Fuck. <laughs> they just get dumped on my birthday. I was like, oh fuck. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Damn. So I go. So then that happens, and then she's messaging me, like back and forth. I'm just like, whatever. I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah. I guess we could be friends, like, yeah. whatever. Even though it's the most fucked up thing <laughs> to ever the, do <laughs> at that point in my life. So then I was like messaging back, and then she's like, what is she saying? She's like, hey, I just like. I just want you to know that I just can't get over your sexy voice in my head. And I was like, oh my god, we're really going to do this. Like, I just miss you. And I was like, it's only been a day. Oh my god. It's only been a fucking day. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what's going on here? <laughs> so then that happens. And then I'm just like, all right, I guess I'll do it again. But, like, I've always... It's, it's funny because... So I never, I, it's weird with me because I, I feel really shy. Mm. <laughs> I feel really shy with, with, with who I, like, especially if you bring it up to my attention. Like if you're like, mm. if somebody's like, yo, um, like um, Brit- Brittany is like, likes you. Mm. And then I'm like, oh really? Like she likes me? I'm like, yeah. And then I get super awkward. Like, I'm like, oh, like. How do I act around them? What do I yeah, do? Like, yeah. What do I do? And it's not like, like, it's not like it's not reciprocated. Like, I really might, might like that person, but mm-hmm. it's just the fact that you brought it over to my attention. And now I'm just like, now it's different. Super awkward. <laughs> like, I feel super shy and awkward, and it's like weird. Yeah. But it's like, it's also something that, like, I need to also heal from because I don't know mm-hmm. how how like to interact or why why i act this way you know yeah i don't know if that's ever happened to you before it definitely has um i know for me well oh god dating has been a very up and down thing for me uh i know in my past as a girl i have had feelings well i will say this any guy that i've ever liked i've either been able to date and or fuck so i will say that like I don't think it necessarily... Congratulations, st- not it. Stop, stop. Not, every, not stop, everybody stop, has done that. <laughs> not everybody has done that. I love it how you shut it on my face. I only know, no. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I only say that because, like, it took me a very long time to understand, like, how and why I react. Because mm-hmm. it's like... In my past, I have been proven to be like, okay, cool. Like, if I do like this person more often than not, like, it has been reciprocated every time. <laughs> But why do I still have these insecurities and why do I still get this way? Or like, why do I get awkward if I find out this person likes me? Or like, you know, what's my deal with it? And I've had to really go back and realize like a lot of my, it stems a lot from my high school and middle school life. Oh shit. Yeah. I was bullied so bad in middle school and high school. Yeah. um, By boys and girls. I got made fun of because I had because I got thick thighs. So girls made fun of me for that. And it was stupid. And I got look, made... <laughs> look who's laughing now. Exactly. I get money for it now. <laughs> Joke's on you. Um, I've also been made fun of by dudes. And I have and I know that there's going to be another girl out there that listens to this. And she's like, oh shit, that happened to me too. Because this is very often. But um, I've been put in the position where... Somebody tells me, oh, so-and-so likes you, and you should go talk to them and all this shit, and then you go and talk to them, and they're like, ew, I don't like you. What do you mean? And they're just, like, super loud and obnoxious about it, and it's all just to, like, embarrass you. So I've definitely been put in those positions. I've also been put in really stupid positions with, even though I have gotten with dudes that I've liked, and I've, like, hooked up with them and stuff, they've also been super shitty. (laughs) And so I remember in middle school... I got broken up with one time because I went with them to lunch and we sat down with their friends and his friends asked him, hey, is that your girlfriend? And he said, no, I'm not dating her. And that's how he broke up with me. Wow. (laughs) Wow. So I've had some pretty shitty, I mean, even the most recent breakup that I went to, he he broke up with me at work. Like, 
I've just gone through like super shitty breakups. And so I think it hasn't necessarily.